words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother with letters on the mother by our Lord. Part 2 Letters on the Mother Chapter 3 Aspects and Powers of the Mother Page 70 Topic The Mother's Universal and Personal Presence what people mean by the formless Swarupa of the mother, says our Lord. What people mean by the formless Swarupa of the mother, they mean usually her universal aspect. It is when she is experienced as a universal existence and power spread through the universe in which and by which all live. When one feels that presence, one begins to feel a universal peace, light, power, bliss without limits, that is her Swarupa. One meets this more often by rising in consciousness above the head where one is liberated from this limited body consciousness and feels oneself also as something wide, calm, one self with all beings, free from passion and disturbance in an eternal peace. But it can be felt through the heart also. Then the heart too feels itself wide as the world, pure and blissful, filled with the mother's presence. There is also the mother's personal and individual presence in the heart which brings immediately love and bhakti and the sense of a close intimacy and personal oneness. Date 9-6-19-35 9, The next topic, Faith in the Divine Shakti and the Ishwara. The faith in the Divine Shakti must be always at the back of our strength and when she becomes manifest, it must be or grow implicit and complete. There is nothing that is impossible to her who is the conscious power and universal goddess all creative from eternity and armed with the spirits omnipotence. All knowledge, all strengths, all triumph and victory, all skill and works are in her hands and they are full of the treasures of the spirit and of all perfections and siddhis. She is Maheshwari goddess of the supreme knowledge and brings to us her vision for all kinds and widenesses of truth, her rectitude of the spiritual will, the calm and passion of her supramental largeness, her felicity of illumination. She is Mahakali, goddess of the supreme strength and with her are all mights and spiritual force and severest austerity of tapas and swiftness to the battle and the victory and the laughter, the attahasya that makes light of defeat and death and the powers of the ignorance. She is Mahalakshmi, the goddess of the supreme love and delight, and her gifts are the spirit's grace and the charm and beauty of the ananda and protection and every divine and human blessing. She is Maha Saraswati, the goddess of divine skill and of the works of the spirit, and hers is the yoga that is skill in works, yoga, karmasu kausalyam, and the utilities of divine knowledge and the self-application of the spirit 
to life and the happiness of its harmonies and in all her powers and forms she carries with her the supreme sense of the mysteries of the eternal ishwari a rapid and divine capacity for all kinds of action that may be demanded from the instrument oneness a participating sympathy a free identity with all energies in all beings and therefore a spontaneous and fruitful harmony with all the divine will in the universe the intimate feeling of her presence and her powers and the satisfied assent of all are being to her workings in and around it is the last perfection of faith in the shakti and behind her is the ishwara and faith in him is the most central thing in the shraddha of the integral yoga this faith we must have and develop to perfection that all things are the workings under the universal conditions of a supreme self knowledge and wisdom that nothing done in us or around us is in vain or without its appointed place and just significance that all things are possible when the ishwara as our supreme self and spirit takes up the action and that all has been done before and all that he will do hereafter was and will be part of his infallible and foreseeing guidance and intended towards the fructification of our yoga and our perfection and our life work This faith will be more and more justified as the higher knowledge opens we shall begin to see the great and small significances that escaped our limited mentality and faith will pass into knowledge then we shall see beyond the possibility of doubt that all happens within the working of the one will and that will was also wisdom because it develops always the true workings in life of the self and nature the highest state of the ascent the shraddha of the being will be when we feel the presence of the ishwara and feel all our existence and consciousness and thought and will and action in his hand and consent in all things and with every part of our self and nature to the direct and imminent and occupying will of the spirit and that highest perfection of the shraddha will also be the opportunity and perfect foundation of a divine strength it will base when complete the development and manifestation and the works of the luminous supramental shakti